Hopefully. Got there. Build some doors. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. And we'll call these bedrooms. Zoop. Zoop. We need a bed in that last one. And just doors for the rest. Not enough doors. Wonderful. I'm always running out of doors, I say it. So we got about 40 minutes here. Um, let's see what else we can do down here. We've got um, right. We haven't finished building our smelting area and our forge area. Ironically enough, I don't necessarily plan on doing that much smelting and stuff like that, but. It's good to be ready for it, just in case. Because let's face it, I have a tendency to uh, not prepare my dwarves at all for the atrocities of the real world. Um, ironically enough, I think I only have one anvil. Yeah. So I guess for now we'll just have the one forge. <clears throat> Um, and we have a minecart, so I'm kind of inclined to make a, yeah, I don't know, maybe we don't need, yeah, we don't need a, um, a special one. Put metal ores in there. Call it good. I was thinking about doing a, a quantum stockpile for the for the metal ore and stuff, but it's fine. We'll just we'll just melt it as soon as we get it. Last maker has given birth to a boy. Muscle top. Alright. Hello, Giant Wren. How are you doing? Good. Um, I got this random floor that I didn't put there. That's gonna annoy me. me I haven't seen anything go in here but it's because I haven't been you know actually putting them in there or uh, actually having it last there gems yes please I thought I saw eliminate on this in this cavern layer. No. Oh, it's up here. Pr 
prospecting time. and we're in a save screen. Perfect. Just like I planned it. I didn't plan it. shale and then the question becomes do I just cut shale in particular because I've been using shale this whole time or do I say okay this next set of bedrooms uses something else I think we'll use something else we have church we have granite we have sandstone granite it is because church is kind of similar to to shale and it would be close enough that I'd be like I accidentally did that no I don't want that and sometimes you just need a different kind of floor you know not everybody wants hardwoods David not everybody wants stone floor that's all they're going to get here, though. So this coming week officially is two years. That'll happen on Wednesday, I think. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that. Um, it's been a fine couple of years. Did not know what I was getting myself into in a lot of ways, but... We already have another trading caravan. We, we're just, like, constantly trading, which is fine. Did we not make any of the rings I was looking to make? We haven't been. Why has nobody made any rings? Oh, I have no craft workshop, David. Oh. Oh. Well, that's... Let's just say it's not ideal. Alright, hold on. Change of plans. Put some flooring down. This is claystone, right? Unfortunately, I don't have enough claystone for that. So we'll use something else. 
Sure it is. Now my civilization is going to be all upset. I didn't get them rings. And I'll be like, I told them to build it. I just didn't have a workshop to build it in. Oopsie. Dishmob says the world is the same as ever. I want anvils because I don't have any anvils. Oops. You want shields and bucklers. Lovely. So the question is, can I make enough rings in a short period of time? No, not a stone worker. Craftsman. I can't believe I've gone this long into the game and not had a crass dwarf shop. Like, I make those early. It's not often I wait this long. Deller the Dwarf Gaunt Butcher is visiting, and so are the Silvery Standards. Which are apparently a couple of goblins. That looks like the undead one has already left. Okay. Make some rings. Quickly. In the meantime, I will entertain them with my windows and statues. <laughs> a green glass statue of a slug? Yes, it's yours. A oyster? Yep. A cow? Mm-hmm. Hamsters? Yes, get that thing out of here. Mussels? Uh, hamsters? Apparently we have multiple statues of slugs. I, I don't know who keeps making these statues of slugs, but um, we're selling them. I don't know where you landed, Darth, but apparently you didn't land on the target. Oh, you landed right on my shoulder. We have some rings? <laughs> some, yes. One. <sighs> so why does this keep filling in with water and then getting rid of the water? Like, there's no aquifer there. I don't even know. Also, apparently we never released the animals that we bought from the last trading. Uh, I'll put the cavey boar in there, and then we're going to slaughter that cavey boar, because I do not want caveys. Do we have at least one more ring? All right, we finally have some more rings. All right, bring those up. We'll do some trading. We'll call it a day. On the trading, that is. Lore, chop chop, you have trading to do. Also, we're at a drink again? What the heck? Why didn't, excuse me, my apologies. I didn't mean to burp. Um, why didn't anybody tell me we, we have so many things to brew and we haven't been making any. All right, maybe it's time for me to stop doing this piecemeal and just do it on a, on a schedule, you know? Um, we'll do a hundred brew from plant and we will say anytime drinks are less than 100 brew a hundred okay good deal where are you all going oh you all are going to get water because you have no drink yes okay yes let's solve that problem That would also be why Lore is taking his dear sweet time, or sh her sweet time, getting over here to trade because everybody's upset and wants to yell at her for not having drinks in the fort. Oops. Oopsie. Socialize, trade at depot. There you go. Do the thing. All right. 
Windows, statues, rings. We we sold you rings. Uh, we'll take this steel bar. I suspect I'll need to take that loam. We'll take all the logs. I will take all those. Rum. Now I want anvils. Do you have anvils? Because I asked for anvils, right? 585. Can we even get one? Oh, we can. Alright, we'll take one. Excellent. I think that's it. I keep selling them. The straight cavey pup has been found starved to death. I mean, I feel bad, but at the same time... Migrants have arrived. Oh no. We have so many people. Vicod? Moldov? Is that it? Moses? Nish, Aiden, Godin, Vutok, Stukos, Atis. And that's it. All right. All right. So we are really in need of more bedrooms now. Of course, I only have four more beds. And I imagine we'll end up with a noble. No one's been elected yet, though. All right, do we have more beds being made? No. Guild of Water. A farmer's guild has been established. How lovely. Alright, so what what do we um the humans want earrings. The dwarves want shields and bucklers, and the elves don't care. Alright, so we should make can we make glass earrings? No. Why not? Fine. Rock earrings. And... Uh, I don't want to make wooden shields. But I don't really have enough iron ore. How much limonite do we have? 
32. I guess we'll make 10 wooden shields. And we'll use that as our trade good for them next season. <clears throat> oh look, a lungfish in someone's bedroom. That's normal. Also, I see that we have cloth in there and we don't have a cloth stockpile up here. actually need the thread up there. A guild hall for the guild of water. All right, let's find a place for a guild hall. I could put it here. I kind of like putting the Farmer's Guild near the farming, though. So why don't we build it here? Oh no. <laughs> so... This is coming up as... the bit recruit. So this is someone I know is a is a weird creature but they're showing up when they're not a weird creature so I might be able to just put together a force and strike them down maybe we'll see I mean I need to build a uh, thing huh So yeah, if I'm able to take them down before they um, transform, I might be okay. What is... They're not listed as... Oh, they are listed as hostile. Hmm. Alright, well... Does anybody have any skill as a military commander? Zuglar does. Zuglar, congratulations. Oops. Anybody with relevant skills, you get added. The strategic irons, huh? Zahn the soap maker. Gish the Swordsdorf, Kumil the Fighter, Silob the Axedorf, Psykit the Swordsdorf. Hey, we're gonna have none of these weapons, but you you all can definitely go over there and and hopefully um, take care of them. will follow Erish. That was a long and intense fight, but... I kind of feel bad. I mean, clearly Erish was in a bad state. Came in um, quite upset. Ranger is tired. Adam. And and no one was uh and it, it wasn't transformed, so there's no risk of anyone becoming a weird creature that way. 
I feel like I could bury him. Oh, we have a mayor now. Actually, we'll do glass um, sarcophagus? No? Coffins. So we'll make the Farmer's Guild Hall over here. Yes, elephants. Yeah, this sieve has elephants, so we were we embarked with them. walls now. meeting area. We'll just go zoop. Guild hall for the farmers. So we made that coffin. I haven't decided on where to put anything yet, but you know what? I'm not even sure I can do this, right? If I go over and make a coffin, and I specify a tomb. Oh, I don't actually want it there. Never mind. Um. What if I put it right here? Must be inside? What kind of a rule is that? All right. All this to find out whether or not I can actually bury him this way. to I don't think I can assign it to somebody you can only do it for citizens or pets 
Huh. Well, never mind. I don't want it there anymore. <laughs> Uh, that said, I don't want the dead body just rotting out there. So what I'll do, I'll go down to my trash disposal unit. And I will say temporarily, Include the corpses of dwarves, and hopefully they will just start bringing that body down and throw it in, and then I'll turn it off. And assuming I remember to turn it off, we'll be good. Anybody hauling? Bring an item to stockpile. I guess is what I'm looking for. Nix Flair, you're doing the job. Now someone, oh, now I also need to specify. This also takes corpses of dwarves. That's what I need. Who's coming? I was curious how deep this went, so I guess this is a good way to find out. Negative 50? Negative 60? Negative 70? And gone. Negative 74. Yeah, you were just carrying the dead body. It's it's fine. That's normal, right? Right? Alright, I do want to smelt this limonite, and I also need to um, I also need to do something with words. Uh, oh, turn off uh, the dwarven bodies. Because I don't actually want them throwing dead, dead dwarves over the edge here. Because <laughs> that's how you end up with a whole bunch of ghosts. All right, I do have some coffins made, so I should probably think at some point about where to put the coffins. Also, I'm kind of inclined to dig out this limonite and then put windows in its place. That seems safe, right? Watch them put the limonite on the other side of the window so I don't actually get it on this side. Why would you do that? <laughs> Darn it. Suspend that. Someone come and pick up that, please. The 
reason why they would do that, David, is because they're dwarves, and they like to do things to make you upset. Fine. No, not a pit pond. Garbage dump, right there. Trash it. Trash it. Snatchers? I'm busy! in the tree. Well, let's follow this one. As long as no one ends up in the water, uh, I sh probably should have checked to make sure none of them had a kid in their bag, right? I feel like they were moving fast enough. Probably not. Okay. They all escaped. Oh, darn. That's okay. All right. You guys are good. Um, I should make a military section, too. Oh, right. We were building this. Is this all satisfied? It is. Wonderful. Mayor doesn't want us to export splints. All right. So the mayor needs some stuff. And luckily, we had already dug out a section for our mayor. done soon. Okay. Well, we'll build this area for our mayor and then we'll call it a day. How about that? So we'll actually make those out of glass throne and glass table. Oh, we're gonna need some weapon racks and armor racks too. Not ballista arrows. Uh, glass weapon rack. Glass armor stand. We're only going to need one of each of those. Uh, actually, I guess we'll do ten. We're going to need it for the military, anyways. All right. Bed. And we'll say bedroom. This is for the mayor, and we'll get rid of the mayor's other quarters in a minute. We'll say this is a dining hall. All 
also for the mayor, and then we'll say this is an office. Again, we're going to put some windows. So we can look out. Liking how this fort's working out. I think it's looking nice. Satisfied with everything, we just need the weapon rack and armor stand. Alright, so let's find the mayor's other bedroom and reassign it. That one. I keep on meaning to set up a, a hotkey for down here. So let's do that. Oh, I already have it. Well, good on me, I guess. Guess we can put the armor rack and weapon stand down here. All right. Well, I guess we won't finish that right this second. So we got a lot to do, but we got a lot done today. It was a fun day. All right. We're going to say goodbye to the Dwarf Fort. Say bye to Castle Divine for now. And we're also going to say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for hanging out today. And yeah. Thanks everybody for hanging out today. I had a good time. It wasn't a necessarily exciting, you know, action-packed, uh, full of weird lizards kind of day, but you know, I'm probably happier not having that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I had a great time today. I hope you did too. Uh, while I'm offline, you can connect with me on Discord. Um, always looking to have more people starting up conversations there or continuing said conversations over there. Uh, I am setting up my next interview. It's going to be December 7th. Uh, also, December 2nd, we will have our anniversary stream. Uh, we'll be playing some uh, Dwarf Fort. We'll be doing some sub-stories. And assuming that uh, Gwen is okay with the date change, we'll also be playing some Minecraft. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. That's where some people were watching me. Um, 
Yeah. All right. Uh, lenses is out now. It is a combination of the stories from Futures Lens, Realities Lens, and uh, Warp Lens. Check it out.